so sick of these sucky computers. Ah! One more step in your next. Something's not right about that guy. Why, just because he keeps threatening to kill me in the middle of a police precinct? Uh, grow up. Because I'm physically attracted to him. And that's bad? I'm only attracted to creeps. The vulture, the ShamWow guy. When I was a kid, I had a major crush on the evil gremlin. Stripe? Are you crazy? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna bone gizmo. I would. It's my birthday. I hate birthdays. If you wish me a happy birthday, I will punch you. You're a funny little bird, DS. Happy birthday. Oh. I'm fine at parties. I just stand in the middle of the room and don't say anything. You don't even like your parents. You call them smiley morons and hug freaks. Plans are plans. I'm a badass, not an anarchist. All right, so here's all the pictures of Rosa that we have. Which one should we use? Ugh, she never smiles. Is her mouth broken? Well, what about if we flip those lips? Do you remember Rosa's reaction last time the printer jammed? I'll pay for that. Maybe you went up the wall. Like this. Ah! Oh. Never mind. It's not possible. Sure. Damn, Rosa! How did you do that? I have a dark past. Now you know my deepest shame. Have you ever been dumped? No. In all my breakups, I'm always a dumper. I know you're having a hard time, but I think I can fix this. There's this thing that I do whenever I feel. What? Burn everything. Making coffee? Can you make another cup for Senor Tickle and his nueve amigos? Tickle, tickle, tickle. What the hell, Hitchcock? No! Ow, 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 ow. I, I think you sprained Senor Tickle. Next time, I break it off. <laughs> Detective Diaz, how's your apology to Officer Deepmore coming? I've been working on a letter to send him. Yes, I saw a draft of it on your desk. What'd you think? It was so horrifying, I had to destroy the whole pad. <laughs> Just go downstairs and apologize. Fine, I'll say I'm sorry. No, be sincere, like this. I'm sorry. 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 Good, that's the one. I love my desk buddy. Sometimes Detective Kearns and I leave presents for each other. Yeah, well, Lo Hank's a stubble monkey. I hate him and his face garbage. Why don't you just tell him to stop shaving at his desk? He denies even doing it. I don't know why. Next time I catch him shaving, I'm going to punch him so hard in the mouth he bites his own heart. Rosa. I need you to work out with Hope for the next half hour, cool? Uh, Great, I'll get your sneakers. This is invigorating, isn't it? Uh, we don't want anyone getting alcohol poisoning, so if you throw up, you're disqualified. I never throw up. I just hold my stomach to deal with it. My body is terrified of me. Damn! Our babysitter's busy the night of Boyle's wedding. She's gonna be in her high school talent show, which she's gonna lose unless her talent is leaving potato chip crumbs all over Terry's couch. Wait, Boyle set a date already? Yeah, he gave out save the dates yesterday. He didn't give you one? I think he's been avoiding me. Hey. Oh, I hate pizza. He didn't invite me to his wedding and he's scared like a little bitch. Well, maybe Vivian was uncomfortable with you coming. Look, Boyle was in love with you until a few weeks ago. Oh. Don't be angry. I'm not angry. I think it's funny. <laughs> Joining us for lunch, sir? Oh, no, I've already consumed the required calories for this day period. Yummy. Oh, nothing better after a long shift than coming to Shaw's. It's like Cheers, where everybody knows your name. The place where everybody knows your name is hell. You're describing hell. So I texted Marcus and he hasn't texted me back. I can't believe I'm asking this, but can you help me? Oh, Rosa, yes. I am the perfect person for this job. Okay, let's get busy. What was his initial text? Can't believe I missed you this much after three hours, XO. XO, girl, marry him. Was you right back? Ha ha the lame. It's a joke, I was insulting him. You know, flirting. You think he's mad? I bet he's heartbroken. No, no, we can fix this. We just have to write a very sweet, very heartfelt text that will jumpstart the conversation. Hey, baby. I don't call people baby. You do now. Officer Deetmore. I came down here to say I'm sorry. Oh, good. Go ahead. No, that was it. I did it. I said I'm sorry. Hey, I said it again. Now I got one in the bank so I can do whatever I want to. What are you even sorry for? Come on, man. 
I said the words. I paused afterwards. I even averted my gaze to make you feel like the alpha. Yeah, but you didn't mean it. I'd like you to apologize like you mean it. Fine. I'm sorry you screwed up my case. I'm sorry you're a terrible cop. I'm sorry for your goat face and your rodent brain and your weird goose body. I meant all of that. I hope you feel better. Today, we're going to work on our courtroom demeanor. Pass. The seminar is not optional, Diaz. You're testifying in an aggravated assault case tomorrow. The DA is worried about how you present yourself on the stand. Why? I'm fine on the stand. Look, I'll make this real simple so even these dum-dums can understand. Man did crime. I'm sorry, can you make her stop doing that weird thing with her face? Crime? And when this is over, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna break those little fingers. Miss Diaz, please stop threatening the stenographer. This is an important case. You need to do well. Fine, I'll take your dumbass seminar. Watching you try to open that door and fail again and again and again and again was inspiring. I was trying to teach you a lesson and instead, you taught me a lesson. Great, what lesson is that? There is nothing the human spirit cannot overcome. So Rosa Diaz, you are not quitting. You are gonna open that door because you are a badass and you don't need help from anyone! Yeah, I'm Rosa Diaz. <sighs> Do this, Rosa. She's doing it. Oh, I get it. I'd abandon me too. That's it. Boil. No more eggs. You are drinking your troubles away. Start with this. Something I'd like to say. I'm a pretty private person, so this is kind of hard for me, but here we go. I'm bisexual. All right, I will now field one minute and zero seconds of questions pertaining to this. Go, Amy. How long have you known? Since seventh grade. I was watching Saved by the Bell, and I thought, Zach Morris is hot. And then I thought, Lisa Turtle, also hot. The fact that the words Kelly and Kapowski didn't just come out of your mouth is lunacy. What made you decide to tell us now? Charles found out on the road trip, and I was positive he was not gonna be able to keep a secret for much longer. Bye, Rosa. I mean, not bye, but bye. I mean, see ya. I mean, have fun only having sex with men, just banging dudes left and right. I just stopped saying bye altogether. So are you seeing anyone now? Yeah, her name's Tiffany. Are you lying about her name so we won't look her up? Yes, I am. Next. Do you know Anne Heche? I do. Ooh. I must say, this is going considerably better than when I came out to my colleagues. They were not, as the kids say, awake. Do you mean woke? I did mean woke, but it's grammatically incoherent. OK, we have time for one more question. No. Oh. Nope, absolutely not. We're done. Smart. It was not tasteful. A portable ultrasonic weapon. It emits a focused beam of sound which can disorient and even incapacitate a perp. So it shoots sound? Mm -hmm. Is this a trigger? Yes, but you want to be careful with that. Ah, ah. Thought it would be louder. It's highly directional. If it were pointed at you, you'd be in incredible pain right now. Why is this happening? I can taste my thoughts! Enough, Diaz. Oh, oh my god. Oh. 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 Pretty cool. Detective Diaz, I gather that once again, things did not go well with Officer Deedmore. All due respect, sir, it's how I was trained. You mess up, you get made fun of. It's like a scientist zapping a rat when he messes up in the maze. Oh, I get it. When I was a young officer, I was that rat and got zapped. And all I wanted was to be captain and throw some lightning bolts. And for Palpatine. I do not know who that is. But a real leader doesn't zap people when they mess up. They teach them how to fix the problem. I think you're a leader, so I like one. I'll try. I'm sorry. Please, Diaz. No need to make a scene. I'm gonna wait till I'm on my deathbed, get in the last word, and then die immediately. That's your plan for dealing with this? That's my plan for dealing with everything. I have 77 arguments, I'm gonna win that way. Seems like a bad plan. Now I have 78. Hey, so I told Captain Holt I'd work on Saturday. Wait, why? You won fair and square. I mean, I murdered you. That was pretty shady. Also, it was crazy assertive, and I feel like maybe I don't actually need power pose training. You don't. Mostly because nobody needs power pose training. The dinner with my parents on Saturday is to introduce them to Marcus. What? 
Why didn't you just tell me? I didn't know stuff was getting that serious. Yeah, it's very embarrassing having feelings. Anyway, thank you. You're welcome. Ruth is in love. <laughs> Power pose. And that is why Christy and the Snobs is the best babysitter's club book ever. Hey, we should go fly fishing sometime. That's never gonna happen. We need to sober you up and get you back out there. Coffee and carbs usually work, so here's what we're gonna do. That was a misdirection. Carbs never work. Slapping's the only way. Oh, I think it worked. And I just want to say, what makes Christy and the Snob so good is the Snob. Their names are Tiffany and Shannon, and they laugh at Lou. Adrian Pimento was very special to me. And now he's gone. And I'm starting to realize there's nothing I can do to bring him back. I guess life is just going to suck for a while. But it's nice to know there's a room full of people who it sucks for, too. I'd also like to add, the next person who hugs me gets their neck snapped. And she's back. Jake and Emmy are engaged. <sighs> That's OK. What? We understand. Love is complicated. Wait, why would you be OK with that? Me, though, when you called his dinner, you were so nervous, we were worried you were going to tell us you were gay. So you would rather me be some dude's mistress than be in a loving relationship with a woman? Well, Jake and I aren't dating, but guess what? Your worst fears are real. I'm not straight, I'm bisexual, and I don't care what you think about it. Screw this, I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, net gun. My cap and coletti! Ah! Sorry, misfire. Right in my breasts! So many accidents. You must be Captain Holt. Mm. Hey. Hey. Uh, can you give us a second, baby? Yeah, I'll wait out there. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Mm. So, this is Jocelyn. I'm glad you got to meet her. For the record, I wasn't keeping her from you because I was afraid you were gonna hurt her feelings by being judgy. I think it's hilarious when you're judgy. It's because I was afraid you weren't gonna like her. You and I are close, and I... I value your opinion. Well, she seems great in our limited interaction. Maybe you could get to know her better over Kevin's rice this weekend. That would be great. You might want to save your girlfriend. She's talking to Hitchcock. Damn it! Hitchcock! NYPD! Get down on the comfortable matted floor! Put your magical hands where we can see them! You're under arrest for ruining something perfect! And money laundering. Yes, money laundering. Whatever! My choice has nothing to do with you. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. I gave up my career, my friends, my whole life, but I did it because I couldn't ignore what I was a part of anymore. Couldn't ignore what the police are doing in my community to people who look like me. I know, but not all of them, not me. This isn't about you. It's, uh, quaint. It's whack and you know it. Their number one crime is tricycle theft. There's a bakery attached to the precinct. Come on, Santiago. You never would have taken that job, so why'd you even care that they offered it to me? I can't help it. I'm competitive. I have seven brothers, and I was the only girl. I always had to fight for a place at the table. Well, you're not the only girl at the table anymore. We work in a police force full of dudes. We got to have each other's backs, OK? You saying you have my back? Yeah, I got your back. Don't smile. I'm still mad at you. I thought we were having a moment. Moment's over. Shut up. Hey, sorry I'm late. The coffee guy was assaulting your head. What is going on up there? Is it bad? Before I answer that question, do you currently have a knife on you? Yeah, several. Then I love it. It really is hair. It's bad, Rosa. You look like Edna from The Incredibles. I'm sorry, don't stab me. <sighs> My girlfriend Jocelyn's been practicing a bunch of different hairstyles on me. She's in cosmetology school. Is she passing? Honestly, I don't know. Hey, I need to write Marcus back fast. He's already freaked out by how long it takes me to text him back. Listen, Rosa, there's nothing I'd rather do in my life than write a sexy text to your boyfriend. But I think this is something you got to do on your own. Why? You're so good at being lame, and I'm not. Yeah. Look, I like him. I really like him. I don't want to screw this crap up. That's what you should say. Just take that sentiment, remove the word crap, and then send it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, I sent it. He didn't write back, so he hates it. No, wait, look. OK. Oh, OK, dot, dot, dot. It's happening. It's a shirtless pick. We did it. We did it. Thanks, Will. OK, I'm going to leave. Don't follow me. Things are about to get intense. That makes sense. 
Hey, Dimor. I'm sorry for making fun of you in front of everybody. And also for making fun of you behind your back. Didn't know you did that, but thank you for the apology. I'm not done. Also, I'm sorry for making fun of you during my book club. Those people don't even know you. That was uncool. Also, I'm sorry I didn't- It's okay. I get it. No. Also, I'm sorry that I didn't take the time to show you how to fix your mistake. Come on, we can go over it upstairs. Thanks, that'd be great. Oh, one more sorry. You're about to see a drawing I did of you in the elevator. Just remember, I was really pissed at you at the time. You like it? Not at all. You can leave. Not a chance. Yes, you did it. They found him guilty on all charges. Huh. Well, his advice worked. <laughs> so, where is your happy place? I'm in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Inside, it's just me and that stupid, slimy defense attorney. And I'm beating the hell out of him. I break a dining room table over his head. Then I rip off his arm and shove it where the sun don't shine. Then I reach down his throat and shake his hand. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and schedule you for a psyche valve. While wearing a wedding dress, you leapt over a couch, sprinted down an alley, and jumped off a car to subdue the crap out of a perp like you were Wonder Woman. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Amy, you are an amazing cop and a great leader, and you have proven that a billion times over. You can't let other people's opinions get in the way of what you want, especially because other people suck. I know what you're trying to do. You brought him in here to butter him up. Yeah, and I've been laying it on real thick. Mint? Okay, but you're making a big mistake. Nobody sucks up like a boil. Of course, you knew that already because you're so smart. I just did it to you. Ugh. Fine, little man. Bring it. Okay. Looks like you and I are in a good old-fashioned suck-off. Don't call it a suck-off. Why not? Why shouldn't... Oh, yeah, 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 totally, yep. Mm -hmm. Right, smart, good. You said there's nothing you can do to bring him back, but you're wrong. None of us are gonna stop fighting until he comes home. Thanks. And if you ever need to talk or get drunk or... Throw stuff off a roof, I mean, I, I don't know your process. Am I hitting on anything here? The roof thing sounds pretty good. Very well, let's throw something off the roof and then we'll get back to work. High five. I quite like them now. Rosa, what the hell are you doing? What, you were the one that said that? That was before the veil went missing, when life was breezy. Look, well, Hank is shaving right now. Boyle, <gasps> call an ambulance. I'm gonna do some stuff to him.